All right, we got you back here on the granite plate, and I've I've already cleaned this thing off. I cleaned it off with my uh, cleaner and got all the dust, everything off of it. And the first check that I want to make here is I want to see how parallel the top and the bottom base plate are with each other, you know, because uh, I cut one, bolted it to it, and then we tapped it down onto our parallels in the vise. And so we're, we're hoping that where it sat down in the parallels is going to make the top parallel to the, to the to the bottom there so I've got my stand there set and we're going to run it across this way so that you can see it and you'll be able to see the little uh, cut marks there so a lot of people were interested in you know how flat the the tool marks are for each each cut there so what I'm reading is three tenths high and low I was actually surprised that it was that much. I thought it was going to be much less than that, but we got three thousandths, so I didn't have my tool honed exactly parallel to the to the workpiece. All right, so as we move across to the other side, you can see as far as parallel, it's not it's not bad at all. We're we're well within a thousandth. So I believe that was about a half a thousand. So let's just call that zero in that area. So we're dropping down a little bit there, a few tenths, and then we come back up. Okay, so we're going to be maybe about a half a thou, a couple tenths over that possibly. All right, let me, uh, let me see if I can move this around. We'll go, we'll go from this side over now definitely low there and now now keep in mind i forgot to mention this this is a tenths indicator so each number you see is one thousandths and then there's ten lines in between there so we drop off a thou there's a thou and a half So it looks like we've got about a thousandths and a half there. Two thousandths that time. It depends on where I'm at because I'm moving this thing. And it may be up on one of the tool marks, high or low. Looks to me about a thousandths and a half that it drops off from that corner there. All right, let's check this side here. So it's looking to me like I, as far as where it was sitting in the vise itself, we had a high side and a, and a low side, so I wasn't exactly parallel there. And there's things that can induce that error as well, and we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll go back down and look, you know, because we've got we've got parallels that you got to deal with, and then you've got a universal table, and if it's not trammed in perfectly flat then it's going to do this on you and you can see our tool marks making that needle wiggle there but that's pretty cool if you if you ask me you know we were we were traversing the tool across just like this you know making our cut so if you start on one side and you just imagine you know working from one side to the other you see where the indicator is at. It's not quite one thou low, but let's just call it about a thou low. And then we move across. So you got, what, maybe about a half a thousandths drop there, disregarding the, the tool marks. Right, let's come off that. And we got one more side to check right here. Let's check this one. All right, we're about 19. So about a thousandths there. So that's in the direction of the stroke. And that, like I said, that could be the, um, that could be the parallels or it could be the table is not trammed in perfectly there. We checked, I did a video a while back where I actually was indicating the table to see what kind of movement we got on the ram as it went out and we were getting a half a thousand so 
you're always going to have at least a half a thousandth drop in in that machine. All right. Well, there gives you an indication on on exactly how parallel the 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 part is, you know, top and bottom. So what I want to do now is go ahead and I'm going to take these let me move this out of the way so you can see I got the camera in there pretty tight. These one, two, three blocks right here, these are precision ground one, two, three blocks from a tool maker. And I've mic'd them and they're exactly the same height. Two inches and three tenths, both of them. So what I want to do is I'm going to set these, they're going to be just like that. And we're going to flip this, this fixture plate over and set it on top of this and so this will be our reference surface there and then we'll go and we'll sweep the the surface here you know underneath it with the indicator and see what kind of readings we get there all right i got you in there about the best i can with what i got here and we're gonna see if we can get that adjusted there a little bit closer to zero and we'll, we can use this to sweep It looks like we got a low of zero. So we're going to be running across our tool marks, by the way. So that's the flickering that you're seeing. Look at that. It's still touching the zero. So we're on the plus side of the zero on that end right there. And we slide it across to this side and we're on the we're on the negative side so I don't know I, if I had to call it a number uh, about a half a thousandths difference right there all right so what we'll do is we'll come on around and uh, let's check another side all right let's check this one there so we're about on zero there this is going to be going along along our cut so there's a half so almost a thousandth there okay yep so we got about a thousandth so we'll go back the other way I'm not staying consistent there it's kind of floating in and out a little bit so I need to double check that I'm still seeing about a half a thousandths right there. So, not bad, not bad at all. We're talking about a a shaper which is a precision machine, but you know, we're not talking about super tight tolerances like on a grinder. So, I'm happy to see that it's moving, you know, half a thousandths across there. We're going to flip you around. We'll do this side here. All right, starting off on the Right around plus one, We're sliding across our tool marks. Right at a half a thou, maybe just a skosh over. Depends on where you're at on the tool marks there. I'm still calling that a half a thou. All right, I'll, uh, all right, we got one more side to check. Let me move this stuff around. All 
All right, we're right about a half, well, between half and one. There we go, just start somewhere. All right, so we got about a thousandths there on this side. Came off. So we're looking about a thousandth there on this side there. So I don't know what you guys think. Y'all y'all be the judge. I'm just doing this because I know a lot of people were uh, interested in seeing that. And, uh, you know, of course I was too. But what it's telling me is that this machine is cutting within a thousandth of, you know, being flat and parallel and consistent all the way across the cut. So real happy about that. If you need it any closer, Go to a grinder or uh, possibly even a good milling machine might do it better than that. But this is, this is excellent for an old, you know, 70-year-old shaper. So like I said, I wanted to talk about this a little bit too. And you, you have to kind of keep these things in consideration. I have to keep it in consideration as far as what we're trying to do. Inspect to see how parallel and flat this machine is cutting. So I'm confident that the machine itself, you know, with the RAM is cutting within about a half a thousandths. And that's across the length of this table right here. That's what I can measure. I already, already showed that before. But when you're doing things like this, you know, and uh, holding something in a vise, you got your stack up and you got these parallels here that we use. So, you know, you got to make sure that you're using parallels that are perfectly ground parallel with each other. They're not different heights. I've got these nice parallels in here that I always use, and these are excellent parallels. And I always make sure that everything is clean. You go in there with rags, and you, you know, you wipe everything out. Make sure that there's no chips in there in between your setups. But you know, I haven't, I haven't mic'd these things in a long time, so I don't remember what these parallels are. But these are high-quality parallels, and they should be very close within. A couple of tenths, I would, I would guess, I would mic them at. Okay, so you got this that you got to deal with. Your parallels, make sure there's no fuzz underneath them. But then on this machine, you've also got to worry about your tilt and your rotate there. So I always do the best I can to try to make sure that this table is not rotated one way or the other, or this tilting part of the table is not as well. So. I've got it about as close as I can get it. It's very fidgety when you're trying to trim this thing in, and I, I call it where it needs to be, but it still could be out a few tenths across the entire stroke there, you know. So that's something that could hinder you too. So for what we're doing, it's a fixture plate, and it's I'm going to call it within a thousandths of being flat and parallel. So I'm really happy with it, and I'm I'm just really happy with the way it turned out, and it was a fun project to do on this machine right here.